What has two wheels, lots of energy, and an army of devoted customers? The answer just may be the future of fitness. Peloton can whip you in the shape, but can this private player stay ahead of the pack in the race for your dollars? How do we reconcile the stay-at-home economy theme where you can do just about anything from your couch these days with the healthy living theme where more and more people are trying to get in shape or stay that way? Typically, that requires, you know, um, exercise, something that's not really compatible with being a couch potato eating a lot of you know, Doritos. But there's a privately held company that's come up with the next best thing, a way to mesh the stay-at-home economy with the healthy living philosophy. I'm talking about Peloton. This is, this is taking the country by storm. It's a company that makes in-home stationary bikes, but also has a network that connects riders with thousands of on-demand spinning classes that you can take right from your living room. In short, it's not just a maker of exercise equipment, it's a technology company with a social networking kicker. Because once you're on their system, you can connect with riders all over the world to compare your progress, motivate each other. Peloton's only been around since 2012. They already have 200,000 users. I think this is an incredibly compelling story. Some have called it the Netflix of fitness. It offers us a glimpse in the future. So let's take a closer look with something I am very excited about. Let's talk to John Foley, the founder and CEO of Peloton, to learn more. Mr. Foley, welcome to Mad Money. Good Thank to you, see Jim. you, sir. Good to see you. Well, John, to have a seat. Now, I have to tell you, this is, a, uh, I usually don't invoke family, but my daughter made me do, follow the Snap thing. My wife, Lisa, is addicted to Peloton. It's the best gift I ever gave her. And she just said, listen, I thought nothing could ever prime me out of the studio with Rachel W. at SoulCycle or Lori B. at Flywheel. You're doing it. How did you come up with this? So, uh, I call it the, you know, the, the, the cliche mother is, is the, the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother invention. Right, Sorry, Jim. Right. Um, we, uh, my wife and I are a young couple. Uh, we have young kids. Um, both of us work. And we were th those, you know, in our 20s and 30s, we went to the gym. We went to SoulCycle. We went to Flywheel. We love that. And they're fabulous. It's great. It's a great workout. We got addicted to that instructor-led group fitness right. classes. But when we had kids, uh, time became more and more valuable. Yeah. It was harder and harder to get to the gym. So we said, could we build, to your point, a technology-enabled platform that would allow you to consume that content on your schedule, on your time, at your location? So we built the Peloton bike. Now, uh, I think you should tell people that, that you can enter and be competitive if you want to, or you don't have to. And there's a million different classes. Yeah, exactly. So there's over 4,000 on-demand classes. So you call right. it the Netflix of fitness. Yes. Uh, we, uh, you say we're a technology company. We're also a media company. So we stream. 12 hours of live television content around the world every day from our studio in Chelsea. Right. So you can patch into and, and transport yourself into a live class or take one of these on-demand classes. But there's, you know, short classes, long classes, all different styles of instructors. So, you know, there's something for everybody. Now, uh, you have a technology background. You were at, you ran barnesandnoble.com? That's right, that's right. I mean, that was the ultimate got disrupted by somebody else. You certainly don't want to be disrupted at Peloton, sure. clearly, right? For sure. It's funny, um, William Lynch, who's now uh, my partner, um, he was my boss at, uh, he was the CEO of Barnes & Noble, but we were watching the tablet category, and you'll appreciate this, Jim. Uh, Amazon was making the Kindle Fire for $250, but they were selling it for $150. <laughs> So we, because you want- the, Because the razor, razor, razor blade. Razor, razor, razor blades. So I said, people don't want the hardware. Your wife doesn't want a stationary bike. She wants that content. She wants the community, the energy, the, the whole experience. So we built a platform to take that experience. So we don't make a lot of money on the hardware. Right. The business model, as you know, is $39 a month for unlimited classes. It, and it, it's, I, have, I, mean, I don't want to be a commercial for the darn thing, but you know, we keep it in our bedroom. We have a big gym, but she said, no, I, this is too important. People who can't get to their class, insist on it, but I guess if you have kids at home, it's absolutely right. Now, I have to tell you, I'm a treadmill guy. What do you have for me? Uh, I will tell you, Jim, we are not going to be a stationary bike company. We are going to be a disruptive company at the next- Wait, can you give me something? Because I'm treadmill. Uh, uh, give us time. Be would be natural. And my wife has to say, even though we're not allowed to own stocks, um, would I ever be able, would she ever be able to own a share in Peloton if she could own a share of stock? I would say eventually she will be able to own a share of Peloton. Because we, we, we're going to capitalize this thing to be very aggressive. We're like you. We think this is a massive opportunity. We, we know that our consumers love it. Our net promoter score is 91. So people who have the bike love the bike. And so we're going to get the word out. The last thing I want to ask is that uh, I do have instructor friends and they are worried because Peloton's so good. Uh, why couldn't Flywheel or SoCycle do this? 
So uh, I think there's going to be competition. Right yeah. now there's no competition. Peloton's the only game in town. But because it's so good, because it's so coveted, because the consumers love it, we expect competition to come from all angles. The answer in short, Jim, is we are a very, very hardcore technology company. We make a tablet computer better than Apple. We write uh, custom uh, Android on the client right. side, Python services in the cloud. We are as hardcore of a tech shop as anything in New York City right now. So if SoulCycle or Flywheel were to try and reinvent themselves as a somebody right. who could compete for software engineers with Google, then maybe they can come after us. But um, I don't want to be cavalier. We will have competition. Well, I I right now you are, you are king. Anyway, look, I, if you haven't tried it, I mean, look, my wife was a state champion, so that's why she's one of the reasons she says this is the only thing that is equal to the level that she's ever seen for, uh, in actual co competition. That's John Foley, co-founder and CEO of Peloton. It's very exciting. It's a private company, so I can be a little more excited than I am usually if it's a common stock. They have money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.